Marvin, it's so hot. The AC's broken. It's like 100 degrees in here. Hey, Jeffy. Huh? Can you blow me? I ain't know what? Like with a fan. Oh, you should have just said that, Daddy. Oh, that feels so good. Hey, I want some. Oh, uh, so much better. Jeffy, blow me again. Stop saying that, Daddy. It's weird. Hey, no, come back. Mommy, look, it's hot in here. You should probably just take your clothes off. Well, ew, Jeffy, she's your mother. Stepmother, and I've seen plenty of videos where stepsons eat their stepmom's fish biscuit. Well, Jeffy, that's gross. Get out of here. All right. Marvin, you need to call an AC repairman. But that's going to cost money. But it'll be worth it. Okay, I'll call one and see if he can do it cheap. Hey there, thanks for calling Expensive AC Repair Services. Marvin, you called Expensive AC Repair Services? Well, I tried calling Super Cheap AC Repair Services, but they didn't answer. Yeah, I never answer that phone. What? Anyway, what's the problem? Well, our AC is broken, I think. Oh, that sounds expensive. Yeah, I guess I can get my ladder out and go look at it, but it's gonna cost you. How much? How much you got? Baby, how much do I have in my wallet? Uh... Um, about $94. Oh, that's crazy, because that's exactly how much I charge to get my ladder out and look at your AC unit. Okay, here you go. Ooh, it is hot in here. This cash is cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, let me go get my ladder and I'll take a look at it. Okay, time to figure out what's wrong with the AC so I can charge them more money. Okay, let's see what's wrong with this AC. What? Haunted toys do not touch. Okay, not touching that. Let's see here. Oh. Well, the AC's not broken. It just got turned off. All I have to do is turn it on. But then I can't charge them a bunch of money. <laughs> okay, I know. I'll go downstairs and tell them that the whole AC unit is completely destroyed and that it's going to be really expensive to fix, and then I'll come back up here, just play on my phone for like an hour, and then turn it on and tell them I fixed it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, man. It is, it is just a train wreck up there. So it's broken? Oh, broken's not even the right word. I would say destroyed, demolished, pillaged, savaged, desolated even. So it's broken? Yeah, it's broken, yeah. Well, what happened to it? Oh, I can't even imagine what could have caused such destruction. Was your house struck by lightning and a tornado a hundred times? I don't think so. Well, I mean, it is on fire. What, fire? Yeah, and it's flooding at the same time. I don't even know how. It's crazy. Flooding with what? W with shit from the sewer, because I guess your sewer got mixed up, so whenever you flush the toilet, Toilet shit comes out of your AC. Oh, oh, well, can I go up there and look? No, 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 don't do that, because it's also spraying asbestos and, and carbon monoxide. It's very dangerous. Well, okay, well, then how are you going up there? I, I had a hazmat suit, but I took it off because it was itchy from all the asbestos. Well, can you fix it? Oh, I can, but it's going to be really expensive. Like how much? Oh, like, like $5,000 cash. We don't have $5,000 cash. Well, I guess I could do it for $3,000 cash. I don't think we have $3,000 either. Well, how much cash do you have? Baby, how much cash do we have if you went in your purse and, like, checked the safe in the room? Um, maybe, like, $500? Well, I guess I could do it for $500 cash, as long as it was cash. Wait, how can you go from $5,000 to $500? Well, I just feel so bad, because you're living with a hazard. You know, it's dangerous, so I gotta take care of it. So, yeah, I'll do it for $500, as long as it's cash. Well, baby, get the money. Okay. Yeah, thank you for doing this for us. Here you go. No problem. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is great. Okay, so I'm gonna go work on that. Just don't check on me, okay? It's very, very dangerous. Uh, by the way, do you have a phone charger? What do you need a phone charger for? Uh, my phone's dying, and I really wanted to listen to some tunes while I work. You know, that's what I call Music 86. It's too much trouble to go find new music, so I let them bring the music to me, you know? That's what they call music, that's what I call music. That's what I always say. Okay, I'm gonna go get to work. Just don't come up there, okay? It's too dangerous. Oh, what is that? It's a stairway leading right to the attic. I bet my daddy's hiding my Christmas presents up there. I'm gonna go check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's snowing up here? The North Pole's in my attic? Santa Claus lives in my attic? Wow, I can't believe I'm in Santa's workshop. <gasps> Haunted toys do not touch. These must be special toys that Santa Claus made that he doesn't want anyone to play with. Well, I'm gonna go play with them. <laughs> Alright, let's check out these haunted toys. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, let's see if he can fly. <laughs> Woody was right, he's not even a flying toy. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, what is this thing? Interesting. <laughs> Alright, ooh, an ABC board? It'll help me learn my ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ooh, and what is this? Looks like a magnifying glass so I can see the letters better. <gasps> and it says yes or no? Maybe I can ask it a question and it'll tell me. Um, ABC board, am I gonna get fat hose? <gasps> it said yes! Yay, I'm gonna get fat hose! Thank you, ABC board! You're welcome. 
is that? Now open your mouth. Open my mouth? Why? Just do it. Okay. Uh... Ugh, Marvin, it's so hot up here. Can we go downstairs? But baby, the AC's broken. It's gonna be hot everywhere. But it's hotter upstairs because heat rises. Well, if heat rises, then my wiener has heat. What? It, it rises when I see... Whatever, let's just go downstairs and make some dinner. Okay. All right, baby, for dinner, me and you are gonna have a mashed potato bowl. Ooh, yum! And Jeffy's gonna eat green beans. Jeffy, dinner's ready! What do you want, old man? Marvin, why does Jeffy look like that? Jeffy, did you call yourself green with a sharpie? No, I've been possessed by a demon. <laughs> okay, demon, eat your green beans. How about I just piss? <laughs> Jeffy, stop peeing! What's wrong, old man? You don't like piss? Stop it, Jeffy! Marvin, why is Jeffy in a dress? You're worried about the dress and not the pee! Oh, okay, good. He, he's stopping. <laughs> Just kidding, more piss! Oh my god, Jeffy, stop peeing on the table! You're, you're peeing everywhere! Oh, I'm sorry, am I pissing you off? Jeffy, stop it! Alright, I'm done. But Jeffy, just go to your room! Alright. Oh my god, he, he peed all over the table, baby! What, what is wrong with him? It's disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> Jeffy, you are so grounded! <laughs> he got the <throw> up! <laughs> he threw up everywhere! Marvin, I think he's really sick! We need to call a doctor! The AC guy, he's a doctor, let's go get him! <laughs> <laughs> Die, pigs. Hey! Hey! Hey, hey, what how did you get up here? Wait, uh, are you playing Angry Birds? Yeah, yeah, I, I I just I just finished fixing your AC. I I did. I also killed those pigs. You got you got three stars. Well thank you, yeah I did, I did. But was my AC even broken? Oh yeah, it was super broken. I just fixed it. That's that's why I have this screwdriver here, you see? Because it was it was this screw, it was loose, and that that's what caused the whole thing, you know. So one screw being loose caused it to flood and catch on fire? Oh yeah, you'd you'd be surprised what a screw can do. <laughs> it can really screw things up. You get it? That's an AC repairman joke. You probably don't get it. Well, like, you're a doctor, right? Yeah. Oh, look, my son's really sick. Can you come check him out? How much cash you got? I don't got any more cash, but do me a favor. Eh, I guess you're right. I've screwed you over enough today. <laughs> that was another one. Come on. Okay. Okay, my son's in here. Well, I put my doctor outfit on. I put down towels because of the throw up. Ew, he's throwing up. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, why is his head spinning around like that? Well, he's not sick, you guys. He's possessed. But possessed? Yeah, by a demon. Well, so what do we do? Well, you call an exorcist. Wait, isn't he an exorcist? No, no, no. He needs an exorcist. See, an exorcist performs an exorcism to exorcise a demon. Okay, so I call an exorcist. Yeah. Okay, uh, do you think there's anyone around here? Hmm, try Googling expensive exorcist. Okay, I'll see if there's a cheap one. Okay, I found a phone number for a place called Cheap Exorcism Services. Oh, I, I wouldn't call them. Shh, it's ringing. Uh, that, that's, that's probably my mom calling. I don't answer her. Well, it's kind of weird that while I'm calling this number, your phone's ringing. I mean, it is a coincidence, but if you think about it, there's 13.5 billion phone calls happening in the world every day, so it's not that much of a coincidence that my phone would be ringing while you're calling somebody. 13.5 billion phone calls? Yeah, it's true. Look it up. It's gonna go to voicemail. Thank you for calling Cheap Exorcism Services. Since we didn't answer our phone, maybe you should try calling Expensive Exorcism Services. They always answer their phone. <sighs> What'd it say? It said to call Expensive Exorcism Services. Yeah, you should do that. Okay, I'm calling them. Oh, hey, my phone's ringing. Oh, I wonder who that could be. Hello, Expensive Exorcism Services. Oh, wait, that's me! And yes, I will do your exorcism for you. How much cash you got? Wait, just go get your outfit! Okay. Okay, I got my outfit on. Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! Ah. Ow! No throwing toy arms! <laughs> no throwing demon arms either! Father, help him! Yeah, help me, Daddy. Hold on, I got some holy water over here. I mean, it's just Fiji water, but holy cow, is it good. The power of Christ to help you! The power of Christ to God melt No, that, that's from Wizard of Oz. Nice try. <laughs> Look, the holy water's not working, but I've seen the movie. I know what to do. Hey, demon, possess me instead! Open your mouth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> possess Buzz Lightyear! <laughs> I trapped him in this Buzz Lightyear toy! I am Mrs. Nesbitt. Now all, now all I have to do is throw him down the stairs to kill him. Take this, Demon Lightyear, to infinity and hell! I am Buzz Lightyear. 
Okay, I threw Buzz Lightyear down the stairs. As long as nobody touches him, we'll be fine. Jeffy, are you okay? Oh, my head hurts. Yeah, that's a side effect of being possessed by a demon. I was possessed by a demon? Yeah, but I took care of it. So where's the cash? Give me a thousand dollars. It's not called expensive exorcism services for no reason. We don't have a thousand dollars. Oh, yeah? Well, guess what? Your AC wasn't even broken. It was just turned off. All I did was turn it on and then play Angry Birds on my phone. So, eh. <sighs> Jeffy, how are you feeling? Who wants to watch me piss? <sighs> Your cat piano stuck where? Ideal! Where? Ideal! Where? Ideal! Marvin, just go follow him! He can use his words! He's 19 years old! Where is it stuck at? Gomeal! What? Gomeal! Oh, show me! Gomeal! Right there! Jeffy, how'd your cat piano get on the roof? I threw it! Well, Jeffy, I'm not getting it. It's gone forever. <laughs> oh, okay, Jeffy, fine. I'll go get it. Just stay right here. All right, Jeffy, I'm on the roof. I'm gonna grab your stupid cat piano. Oh, 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 my back! Daddy! Is my cat piano okay? My back hurts, Jimmy, call an ambulance! Oh, my back hurts so bad. Okay, Marvin, so I printed out your x-ray on normal printer paper, because our hospital doesn't have much of a budget, but if you'll see here, your spine is all crooked, so it's pretty much broken. You know, when I first saw this x-ray, I thought maybe this wasn't yours. I thought maybe this was the x-ray of one of the many women that I've banged, you know, because I, I break their back from how rough I am at the sex. Right? That's what women like. They're like, oh, he broke my back from sex. You know, it's not the motion of the ocean. It's the boat. Doctor, can we please focus? Or do I boat. have to go to Linda and Lee Char again? No, 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 no. You don't, you don't have to do that. I'm focused. Uh, so, yeah, your back is messed up. I know. I fell off the roof. Oh, the roof. The roof. The roof is on fire. Doctor! I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't take my ADHD medication today. I, I got it. So, yeah, your, your back is all crooked, and it's supposed to be straight. Can you fix my back? My neck. My back. My pussy and my crack. Doctor! Doctor! I'm sorry, he just keeps saying song lyrics. Focus. Was a movie with Will Smith and Margot Robbie, and it was not very good. You know, I'm pretty sure they actually banged. But, uh, uh, yeah, 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 back. So I, I would recommend that you wear a back brace. Okay, there's nothing else you could do to fix it? Well, you could see a chiropractor. What's a chiropractor? Well, it's somebody who pops your back to make it feel good. You know, I consider myself to be a chiropractor of pussy. That's it! I'm going to Linda in HR! No, 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 you don't have to- Oh, Linda fucking hates me. I've been written up so many times before, I'm probably gonna get fired. Marvin, just go talk to a chiropractor. Okay. Ow, 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 my back hurts! Marvin, I'm sorry your back hurts. Yeah, me too. What's wrong with Danny? I broke my back when I fell off the roof trying to get your stupid cat piano. Hold on! Jeffy, don't annoy Marvin. Look, his back's all crooked. Well, why don't you just fix it? You can't fix it, Jeffy. It's crooked forever. Oh, baby, can you please turn on the TV so I can have something to watch? Okay. Where is he? Tell me where a chiropractor is with affordable prices. That's right, call the back man. If you don't want to be charged an arm or a leg, I'll just charge your insurance. I defeat back pain on the vengeance of in the night. You either die with back pain or you live long enough to no longer have back pain. I'm the back man. Baby, look, a chiropractor. You have to call the back man and get me an appointment. He can fix my back. Okay, I'll call him right now. I'm not getting any phone calls. Honey, have you had any luck getting business? No, Sharon. I'm a chiropractor named Backman. I thought that commercial was going to go crazy. Oh, I'm getting a call. Uh, hold on. Hold on, you Sharon. You mother again. Shut up, Sharon. This is Back Wayne speaking. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking for Backman. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go, let me go get him. Uh, Backman, you're you're getting a call. Oh, oh, I am. Oh, that's crazy. Let me let me just come right over there. Hello, this is the Backman. Oh yes, my husband's having a lot of back pain. Back pain, my arch nemesis. Where is he? Where is he going? Where's Rachel? Well, I don't know who Rachel is, but my husband's laying on our couch. Where's Toothpaste? Uh, I don't know. Can I just make an appointment? Of course you can, but the back man only comes out at night. Okay.
okay, can you come tonight? Yes, I can! I'll be there before the bomb detonates! <sighs> I cannot keep doing that voice, it's killing me! To the backmobile! All right, Marvin, I called the back man. He's on his way. Oh, thank God. My back hurts so bad. Can you roll me over onto my stomach? Oh, uh, okay. That's feeling a little bit more better. I was just trying to help! Marvin, are you okay? Wait a minute. Uh, my back feels so much better. What? Yeah, it, it does. No, Marvin, we need to go to the hospital and get it checked out. Yeah, you're right. Maybe Jeffy like paralyzed me and I just don't feel it. Come on, let's go. All right, Marvin, this is your old x-ray and this is your new x-ray. See, your spine looks great. Now, when I first saw this, I thought maybe that wasn't your spine. I thought maybe I'd accidentally slapped my dick down in the x-ray machine. Oh man, she's already writing. Who's that? That's Linda from HR. She's here to watch my performance as a doctor, not in bed. Because if it was in bed, she'd give me a D. Well, actually, I'd give her the D and she'd give me an A for how good my D was. Stop writing. Ugh. Guys, this might be my last day as a doctor. But whoever your chiropractor is, he did a great job. Well, well, Jeffy, he hit me in the back with a baseball bat. Okay, well, I wouldn't recommend he do that anymore. I think you got extremely lucky this time. Just like I might get lucky later, right, Linda? No? Well, guess what? I, w I wouldn't even bang you if you wanted to. How about that? I wouldn't even poke you in Facebook. Actually, I would. I'm going to get her someday. You just wait. Okay, so my back is perfectly fine? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Okay, come on, guys. Marvin, I'm so glad your back is back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I can put it in your back door tonight. Icky. Who's at the door? Hello? Did somebody call the back man? Oh, yeah, you're the chiropractor guy. Chiropractor? Where? Because I'm the back man. Now, where's the back that needs saving? Oh, we don't need your help anymore. My back feels fine now. What? Yeah, so my back was hurting really bad, but then I got it fixed, so we don't need your help. Then why did you call the back man? Why, why did you shoot the back signal? Oh, well, we, I did need your help, but I don't need your help anymore. You, you couldn't, like, call me while I was driving here in the back mobile? I just got stopped and filled it up with gas, man. That, that shit's expensive. I can't make it home now. Oh, uh, well, I'm really sorry. I mean, I did need your help, but... I don't need your help anymore. Are you sure you don't want like a back rub or something? No, my back actually feels really good. Happy ending? No, we don't need anything. Anything? Nothing. Come on, man. This is really an inconvenience. I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I really I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm sorry for wasting your time. You know what? Uh, screw you, man. Don't, don't call me again. Sorry, back man. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was the back man. Oh, yeah. I forgot we called him. Yeah, he was very upset that we didn't need his services anymore. Aw. I swear if that's the back man. Do you have any money I can give him, like, a dollar? Um, I think so. Here yeah, I'll, I'll give him this dollar because he won't stop annoying me. Look, here's a dollar. Go away. You really think a dollar's going to get me to go away? You owe 2,999 more of these for this month. Oh, Goodman, I didn't know it was you. I thought it was the back man. Are you on fucking bath salts? No, no, no. There's a guy named the back man, and he has a picture of a back on his stomach. Well, I'm the money man, and so I need 2,999 more of these. And I'm sure if you have one, there's more around your house. So let's get to looking. Well, no, no, there, there isn't. All right, so where's the rest of that money at? There is no more money. Marvin, what's Goodman doing here? He's here for the house payment. Oh, another dollar. I knew I was getting hard. Oh, oh. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, I have a slip disc in my back from banging prostitutes in my Lamborghini. Oh, you ever gotten a blumpkin in a Lamborghini, Marvin? It's called a blumpkin guinea. It'll change your life. And yes, I do shit in my Lamborghini and I just sell it afterwards. Oh, well, if, you're, if your back is hurting, Jeffy can fix your back. Really? Yeah, just lay there and he'll, he'll do it. Oh, hold on, he's not going to pee diddy me, is he? No, no, just stay still. Jeffy, do it. All right. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, I think he fixed me. Yeah, I told you Jeffy could fix your back. You know what, Marvin? You don't owe a house payment this month, and you can keep the $2. Never mind, I'm going to take that with me. Jeffy, I think you could actually be a chiropractor with your bat back. Oh, my God. Oh, who's at the door this time? 
Hello? Hey there, I'm Sergeant Chief of the Department of Homeland Security. Oh, how can I help you? Has your son been fixing people's backs with a bat lately? Yeah, he's been hitting people with bats. Good. Well, you see, the President of Russia, Vladimir Putin, has a herniated disc in his back, and he heard about your son's miracle back fixing technique, so he's on his way over to your house right now for your son to fix his back. Now, we think this would be the perfect opportunity for your son to paralyze Vladimir Putin from the neck down. So while he's fixing his back, just have your son beat the crap out of his back until he's paralyzed. Then he won't be able to give orders. Well, I guess he could still talk. Just have your son kill Vladimir Putin. Kill him? Yeah, yeah, he's on his way over here right now, though. He actually pulled up just right after I did, so... Actually, can I hide inside your house? I don't want him to see me leaving. Uh, yeah, sure. Come on. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was the Department of Homeland Security. Why? They want Jeffy to kill Vladimir Putin. Oh, that's nice. All right, Jeffy, that's him. Bring your bat. Oh. Hello? Hello, it is me, Vladimir Putin. Putin. Nice to meet you, Vladimir Putin. Yes, nice to meet you too. So how was your flight from Russia? It was fine. Listen, my back hurt. I have herniated disc, so you whack, yes? You take bat and you whack my back. Yes, we will whack your back with the bat. Jeffy, I want you to hit his back really hard with that bat, okay? Yes, whack shit out of the back. Alright, Jeffy, hit him in the back. Go! Yeah, you bitch! No one kills Putin on my watch. What is all that? Well, come on, back man! Give him his bat back! We gotta kill Vladimir Putin! Look, I'm not pussy. I can take whack. Come on, give him the bat back! Okay. Who's the Batman now? Okay, what is bullshit? You fix back or I nuke America tomorrow. Uh, uh, we, we, we gotta fix his back! Uh, there's no need for that. Turn around, Mr. Putin. Now you're gonna cross your hands. You're gonna feel a little tuck. One, two, oh, oh, hello. One, two, oh, oh, oh. oh better. Oh, my back feels so much better. Thank you very much. Don't thank me. Thank Gotham. Uh, okay. Well, I guess your back's fixed. Yeah, I feel fine. I'm not the hero that this town needs, but I am the hero that this town deserves. Who the fuck is that? That was the back man. Okay. Well, thank you for fixing that. God damn it! God damn it! Damn it! What the hell was that, boys? The back man came and saved Vladimir Putin's life. Damn it! That was our only chance. He had no security or anything. That just hurts my back. Well, the back man stole my bat, so I can't help you there. Shit. So, is Jeffy a chiropractor now? I guess so. I don't give a shit. Hey guys, it's Logan. We officially launched an SML gaming channel. Go subscribe right now. We're going to be uploading gaming videos every single day. So please go subscribe to the new SML gaming channel for new content every single day. Me in. Build towards Jeffy. Ow, I'm dead. I'm so incredibly dead. Help me. Why would you break it? Where you at, Cody? Joseph, help me. Come here, come here. Why, Joseph? Why not Logan help? I mean, do your help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not Logan? I'm a little offended. You don't want me to help. You're the one who killed me because you built a floor where I was trying to climb up. Wait, where's Jeffy? I'm over here getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I forget there are people. Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, Cody, did you know your mom's famous? Yeah, dude, they put her in a magazine twice! I didn't know your mom was a model! It's like a special coloring magazine where you get to color pictures of the models. Like, look, here's your mom waving her tail, and here's your mom just standing there. Oh, good. My mom's a hippo now. That's new. A big, fat hippo, because your mom's fat. No, I get it. And your mom's still a whale. Classic. Yeah, because she's a big, fat whale. Guys, I get it. Can we please do something else? Cody, why is your shirt so small? Oh, I got an extra small shirt to show off my abs. Here, peep them. Actually, this is a new shirt and it shrunk when my mom washed it, but it's still a good conversation starter. Cody, you have like a little black piece of something in your tooth. Wait, what? Yeah, like show me your tooth. Ah. Uh, yeah, you have like a little black dot, like a piece of pepper in your tooth. A piece of pepper? I haven't eaten any pepper today. Is it gone? Sure. Okay. You want to help us color a picture of your mom? No, guys, I said I want to do something else. Well, you can start by getting that piece of pepper out of your tooth. Wait, you said it was gone! Junior, it's to my friends! Lunch is ready! Oh, guys! Chef B said lunch is ready! Let's go eat! Wait, Junior, is there something in my tooth or not? Whoa! Look at these sandwiches! Dude, Chef Bibi did not make this. He got this off of Uber Eats, I can tell. Pardon my language, but pretty bitchin' lunch, Chef Pee Pee. A friggin' goog? What did I do to deserve this? And what's this? Cheez-Its? Don't mind if I do. Let me just light one of these joints up real quick. Ow, damn it! What's wrong, Cody? I think the Cheez-It was too hot. It hurt my tooth. Cheez-Its aren't hot. They have no temperature, Cody. Well, it hurt my tooth when I bit into it. Maybe it's that piece of pepper that's on your tooth. Wait, do I have something on my tooth or not? Yes. What? You said I didn't! I didn't want to talk about it anymore. What, what do you think it is? I don't know. Maybe a cavity? No, 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 that's impossible, guys. It can't be a cavity. I brush my teeth two times a month. Once on the 1st and once on the 15th. I think you're supposed to brush your teeth two times a day. No, that would be ridiculous, Junior. That would waste too much toothpaste. All that toothpaste going down the drain would end up in the ocean. Fish don't have teeth. They don't need toothpaste. And dental floss? That would choke a 
sea turtle, no thank you. Well, you're supposed to brush your teeth every day, Cody. Well, cavemen didn't brush their teeth and they turned out fine. Cavemen died when they were like 20. Yeah, from like falling off a boulder and getting eaten by a bat, not their teeth. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you, Cody. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. What, do you guys really think it's a, it's a cavity? I think it's a cavity, Cody. Well, that would be really bad, you guys. If my parents find out I have a cavity, they'll ground me and send me to Europe. Send you to Europe? Why? Well, they say that Europe is full of people who have bad teeth, and that's where people with bad teeth belong. So if they find out I have a cavity, they'll send me to Europe. Well, then we'll never see you again. I know. This is bad, guys. Okay, let's call a dentist and get your tooth fixed so your parents will never find out. Okay. Well, let's try one more of these cheeses. Ah, damn it! Okay, fine, let's call this dentist. Come on. Hey, Leah, somebody call a dentist? Yeah, Cody has a cavity. Hey! Hey, nobody has a cavity until I say they have a cavity. I'm the dentist. I have a degree. Do you have a degree? No. That's what I thought. Now shut up. How's my breath smell? Smell like onions? I didn't want onions on my sandwich, but they put them on there anyway. Nobody ever listens to me. Hey, you, you like onions? No. Let me see your teeth. Okay. Those are actually pretty nice. Thank you. Okay, but nobody has a cavity until I say they do. Got it? Now say ah. Ah. Uh... Oh, no, that, that actually is a cavity. Sorry, you knew what you were talking about. Uh, are you sure you're not a dentist? I'm not a dentist. Do you want to be my dental assistant? You're pretty good at it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what do you think we should do now? Uh, fix his cavity. Hmm, hmm, yes, I concur. Okay, so I could do one of two things here. I could use no pain meds and just drill right into your tooth, which would hurt really bad, but you'd be a badass. Or I could use pain meds and drill into your tooth, but you'd be a little bitch baby. I don't want to be a little bitch baby. Yeah, you don't want to be that, Cody. So no pain meds? No pain meds. Yes! Okay, but first we're going to have to bill your parents' insurance. No, 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 no. No, we can't tell my parents about this. Yeah, if his parents find out he has a cavity, they're going to send him to Europe. Yeah, he'll have to learn to say bonjour. That's France, Joseph, not Europe. Dude, that's still in Europe. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Gu guys, can we just focus here, please? Joseph's trying to say that Ratatouille was filmed in Europe. Well, it wasn't filmed anywhere. It was animated. It wasn't called Europea Tui. Well, it wasn't called France Tui either. It, it was just... called Ratatouille because there were rats, Cody. Well, I know that, but where it was filmed doesn't matter. It, that's all that matters. It was filmed in France. They were French. Wait, wait, which is in Europe. But no, yes. Y yes. Yes, it is. Yes. So shut up. Stop arguing about it, Cody. Wait. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <sighs> Never does. Uh, are, are we still talking about teeth here? Oh yeah, we gotta fix his cavity. So if, he don't, if we don't use the insurance, how much does it cost in cash? Oh, it's gonna cost about a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? We don't have that kind of money. Oh, well, the medical bills cost money. This ain't Europe. Oh, okay, well, what else do you suggest we do? Um, let me see those teeth again. Uh, well, they do kind of look like baby teeth. I, I think maybe I could probably pull them out. Then you could just say you lost it. Well, Cody, you still have baby teeth? Yeah, I hit puberty late. What? Okay, so how much will it cost to take the tooth out? It would still cost about $1,000. What? We don't have that kind of money! I'm sorry, but dentists gotta make money somehow. Uh, I, I guess you guys could probably take it out on your own for free. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What? What's mm -hmm. going on? What? I don't know. This is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. What the hell was that about, Junior? I was agreeing. I was like, we can take it out ourselves. We don't need him. Why didn't you just say that? Why were you being all secretive about it? I didn't want him to know because like, I didn't want him to get mad that we weren't going to use him. But why were you making such a big deal out of it? Just say Cody, it. Cody, how about this? We tie a string around your tooth. We slam a door. That tooth comes out. You just tell your parents you lost your tooth. Uh, okay. Anything did not go to Europe. Let's go. Okay, Cody. I have the string tied to this doorknob and your tooth. So when I slam this door, your tooth's going to come flying out. Okay. Did it come out? No, it just hit me with the door. I didn't slam it hard enough. <sighs> All right, are you ready? Yeah. Ow! Did it work? No! Dude, let me try it. <sighs> Ow! You guys are just beating me up with the door now. Oh, the door doesn't have enough horsepower to pull its tooth out. Wait, what? The door doesn't have enough horsepower to pull your tooth out. It doesn't have any horsepower. It's a door. Oh, we should use a car. That's right. No. Let's go use a car, Cody. What? Okay, Jeffy, this is what we need you to do. We have this string attached to your car all the way to Cody's tooth. When I say go, you floor it so it pulls his tooth out. Got it, Junior. All right, let's go tell Cody what's going on. Okay, dude. All right, Cody, when I yell go, Jeffy's gonna speed off and pull your tooth out with his car. Are you sure this is safe, Junior? Yeah, it's safe. I tied the string to the tire so all the power can pull your tooth out. What, the tire? Go, Jeffy! No, Junior! Stop! <laughs> Ow. Man, Cody, that tooth is really in there. Junior, I could have been killed. If that string hadn't broke, I would have gotten pulled under the tires and run over. Dude, I knew we should have used rope. Oh, yeah, rope would have been a lot stronger. No, we shouldn't have done it at all. Man, Cody, your face looks really bad. Yeah, my face really hurts from the road rash. I mean, it looks better than the freckles. Yeah, you look like Freddy Cougar. Cougar. That's what I said. No, no, you said Cougar. Cougar Tui? Ratatouille? What? What? No, guys, we need to get this tooth out somehow. Ooh, I, I got an idea. That isn't dangerous. Aw, I was going to say we push it out of a hot air balloon. Ooh, Ooh that would be awesome. How would that get the tooth out? When you hit the ground, your tooth would fly out. Oh, what? impact. Yeah. Guys, come up with something better. Ooh, Joseph, you see that weight over there? Grab it. Okay. Oh, you're going to like this one, Cody. It's going to work. Okay, so we tie a string around this weight, and then we throw it off a balcony, and then the string's attached to your tooth, and then the weight from the weight pulls the tooth out your mouth. Now, now that, that could work. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. 
Okay, Cody, I'm gonna drop this weight off the balcony and the force of it should pull your tooth out, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah! Cody, did the tooth come out? No, I think I broke my nose. Dang it, dude, this tooth is persistent. You wanna try the weight one more time, Cody? No! Oh, I have no more ideas then. Ooh, I think I have an idea, dude, follow me. Oh, come on, Cody. I don't think I want to. Come on! Okay, Joseph, what's your plan? I hired a professional boxer to knock his teeth out. I mean, tooth out. Wait, which is it? Teeth or tooth? Tomato, tomato. No, no, it's not the same thing. One is more than the other. Yeah, I think you'd mean tomato, tomatoes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, exactly, but I just want the tomato. Okay, you can eat after we fix your cavity. Wait, no, I mean the tooth. Has a cavity in it. We're gonna get it fixed. What? Just punch me. Okay, uh, where's the boxer at? Uh, he's here right now. Oh, what suck? I wanna get his teeth knocked out. Oh, he's right here. So, Cody, open your mouth. Uh, you see that tooth with a cavity in it? We want you to knock that tooth out. Okay, I've knocked plenty of teeth out. This one's gonna be a problem. All right, Cody, stand real still. All right, punch him. <laughs> oh, I connected that one. I connected that one. Oh, Co Cody, you okay? <sighs> <laughs> he did it! He knocked my tooth out! Wait, why is there two? Junior, did he get it? Uh, he didn't knock out the tooth with the cavity. Wh what? That means he knocked out my two good teeth? They're obviously not that good if they came out that easily. Yeah, they're also yellow. I wouldn't say they're good teeth. I think that cavity is making your tooth stronger. No, this is stupid. Just hit me again! <laughs> <laughs> okay, did he get it? Uh, hit him again. <laughs> oh, how about now? It's still in there. Hit him again. <laughs> okay, he has to have gotten it, right? Uh, do it again. Uh, 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 and one more time. Uh, 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 I'm starting to enjoy this, Joseph. Oh, me too, dude. Uh, do it again. Uh, uh, Hit him as hard as you can. Uh, 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 it still didn't work. I can hit him again. No, just leave. Uh, actually, 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 one more time. All uh, right. Oh, that tooth is still in there. Dude, I think that tooth made of steel or something. Yeah, I just, Cody, I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I should just tell my parents I have a cavity. What, you want to live in Europe? I guess he really wants to eat those frog legs, dude. Yeah, whatever they eat there. We have frog legs here. You just want to see the pyramids. What? That's in Egypt. The Great Wall. Yeah. China. Uh, all right, listen, Um, I have an idea. I have some old leftover fireworks from the 4th no, of July. I no, can just tie a string no, around your tooth no, and no, on a rocket no, and shoot. No. Why? Because it'll burn my face. A rocket won't burn your face. A rocket is really fast. So if I tie it to a rocket, a rocket will shoot up in the air and take your tooth to space. They're called fireworks. The fire will burn my face. Fireworks are really fast, Joseph. Yeah, they're really, really fast. Like the speed of light. You won't even feel it, dude. Yeah, it's so fast. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. Come on. Okay. Okay, Cody, I tied a string around this rocket and around your tooth. So when I light the rocket, it's gonna fly in the air and pull your tooth out. You know, now that I'm actually looking at it, I don't think I want to do this anymore. Come on, Cody, the worst thing that could happen is that the tooth does not come out and the rocket takes you into space and you go see Jupiter. <laughs> I'd rather see your anus. <laughs> like, seriously, can we go to your room? Come on, Cody, you gotta do the rocket! I don't know, guys, I'm scared. Don't bitch out now! Yeah, you have big balls, Cody, I know you do. I mean, I have pretty average-sized balls. Oh, come on, Look, are you gonna do it or not? Okay. Okay, let me light it. Joseph, back up. Okay, do it. Okay, Joseph, I lit it. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. He might die. I know. Yeah! Whoa! I don't think he went to space, dude. Uh, let's go inside. So, dude, now that Cody's dead, who's gonna be our third friend? I guess Jeffy. <laughs> what? Yeah. Cody, you're still alive? Damn, you still kicking, bro? Yeah. You were supposed to kill the Sim, not join them. Yeah. You're supposed to bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. I hate you. I hate you. Let me see your tooth, Cody. Yeah. It's still there. Not even the firework pulled it out. I almost died. But what'd you see? Did you see space? I didn't see anything. My face was on fire. Yeah. All right, guys. I think I'm just gonna give up. Well, no, you can't give up. You have to go to Europe. Cody, I'm here to pick you up. Oh my God, Cody, what happened to you? Uh, he, he fell in the oven and it burned him up and then it accidentally burned a cavity into his tooth. Oh no, Cody, it's a good thing you didn't get that cavity from not brushing or else you'd have to go live in Europe. No, he didn't get it from not brushing. He got it because the oven burnt it into his tooth. Uh -huh. uh, yep. Come on, Cody, let's go back home. We're gonna sue the oven company so mommy can get paid. Uh, okay. What's wrong, Joseph? We're just such good friends, dude! I know! I wish we had friends like us! Oh, we're such good friends. We're so rare! Hey, Dad, can I go on 
shine step in dog poop? Ew, no, Jeffy. Why would you want to do that? Because I like the sound it makes when I step on it. No, Jeffy. You can't go outside and step in dog poop. That's gross, Jeffy. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Well, if you're gonna do it anyway, can you at least put shoes on? Ew, Marvin! But, Daddy, I can't find my shoes! What do you mean you can't find your shoes? Well, they ran away! How'd your shoes run away? I don't know, but they did, Daddy. Jeffy, shoes can't run away unless you're the one in the shoes running. Well, I just can't find them, Daddy. Did you look everywhere? Well, I looked everywhere and I thought that they could be. And where's that? On my feet. They're not on your, if they were on your feet, they wouldn't be lost, Jeffy. Look, I'm gonna help you find your shoes. All right, Daddy. <laughs> Jeffy, I found your shoes! No way! I looked everywhere! Oh, Booger, why are you two in my shoes? Bad Booger, bad! Now we have to get your new shoes, Jeffy. Well, Daddy, I can step in dog poop without shoes. No, Jeffy, we'll get your new shoes and you're not stepping in dog poop in them. Did you find Jeffy's shoes, Marvin? Yes, I did, but his pet dinosaur Booger ate them. Oh, no! So now we have to get Jeffy new shoes, and they're going to be so expensive. Well, I could go to the thrift store and buy him a used pair of shoes. Yeah, just do that. Can you give me the Poop Stompers 3000? No, Jeffy, you're not going to stop and poop in your new shoes. Okay, I'll be right back. Marvin, I'm back. Oh, my God, those shoes are cool. Mommy, those shoes are the tits. How much do those cost? They were only $20, Marvin, and the owner of the store said Michael Jordan used to wear these when he was a kid. Michael Jordan? Yeah. Well, they're about to belong to Scotty Poopin after he gets unstepping in dog poop with them. Or Shaquille O'Neal. Or, or Fecal Jordan. <laughs> Jeffy, put these shoes on. Uh. Daddy, look. These shoes fit perfectly. Well, you better take care of them, Jeffy. Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I'm only going to step in the finest dog turds with these babies. You better not, Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy, actually take care of these shoes. Look, I bet your friends are jealous. Go show your friends. Oh, you're right, Daddy. I bet you they don't have dog turd stompers like these babies. I'll be right back. Oh, I made it again! <laughs> when do we get a turn? We're playing Make It Take It, so whenever I miss it, that's when you get a turn. But I don't miss. <sighs> We're going to be here all night. See? He keeps making it. Yeah. Oh. He just keeps making it. See, see, watch this. Uh, do it again. Uh, oh, God. oh, finally he missed. We get a turn. Yeah, okay, finally. Now it's my turn. Hey, guys, can I play? No, we haven't even had our turn yet. Cody, just let Jeffy have a turn. He probably sucks at basketball. He's going to miss this shot anyway. Okay. Right. Whoa, he made it. Oh, you know what? New rules. Everybody has to shoot from way back there because we're shooting from way too close. Okay. From right here? Yeah, from right there. He's totally going to miss this. Yeah. Yeah. What? Well, you made it from there? Heck yeah! Well, uh, uh, you have to make it from the balcony now. How about that? Okay. Yeah, he's gonna miss that. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, try to make it from up here. Dude, I can't even make it from up here. I know, I'm trying to get Jeffy to lose his turn. All right, watch this. Yeah. Heck yeah! Well, how does he keep making it? Oh, I know a shot that you definitely can't make. Come on! All right, Jeffy, for this next shot, you have to shoot the ball over the balcony and make it to the goal. But, Jimmy, that's impossible. And you have to do it over your head. That's even more impossible. Just go sit by the goal and see if he makes it. All right, Jeffy, shoot the shot. All right. Mwah! Whoa, he made it. Dude, he just doesn't miss. What? He made that? Yeah, he yeah. did. Oh, when's he ever going to miss? I don't know. Did I make it? Yeah, Jeffy, how are you so good at basketball? I don't know. It must be the new shoes I got from Michael Jordan. What? Michael Jordan used to have those shoes? No way, dude. Oh, this is like that movie, Like Mike. What? What? Well, you know, that movie where the kid gets Michael Jordan's shoes and they make him good at basketball? That never happened. Wait, that's a thing? Uh, yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, so you're saying that Jeffy's only good at basketball because he has Michael Jordan's old shoes? I mean, maybe. Wait, so you're saying as long as he's wearing those shoes, he's never going to miss? I, I guess. Jeffy, let's try it. All right, Jeffy, try to make a shot. All right. All right, now take the shoes off. All right. Try to make another shot. He missed! It's the shoes! It's the shoes! Oh, my God. So if Jeffy's wearing those shoes, he could be in the NBA. He'll never miss. He'll win, like, 25 championships. Oh, my God, that's awesome! Uh, who could that be? Hello? Hey, man. Uh, what are you doing here? Hey, do you have any eggs? Eggs? Yeah, my wife wants to make scrambled eggs, but we don't have any eggs. Why didn't you go to the store? Well, because that cost money, and I figured I could get them for free from you. I mean, you're not going to say no, right? I, I came all this way. <sighs> They're in the fridge. Thanks, bud. Ooh, I'm going to get a drink while I'm here, too. Ooh, and maybe some chips. I mean, he already said yes to the eggs. He's not going to say no to that. Dude, he just doesn't miss! What? What's that all about? Come on, Jeffy, make it again. Yeah, come on. Guys, I've already made it like 300 times. I know, just do it one more time. Please. What's going on in here? This kid can't miss when he shoots the basketball. What? Yeah, yeah, he just can't miss a shot. He's been making them all night. No way, show me. Yeah, 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 try, try the shot, Jeffy. All right. Yeah. See, he just doesn't miss. Wow, kid, you should go pro. Well, he's really young. He can't go pro yet. 
Huh, yeah, you're right. But he's not too young for me to use him to hustle some people down at the gym. Hey, kid, come with me to the gym. I think you guys are good enough to beat the national champs. Wait, really? Yeah, come on. There they are. They're legit. Best, best. Oh my god, they're really good! Yeah, there's a reason they won the championship. You think we can beat them? Not you, your friend. But a basketball team needs five people, so also you. Okay. I'm gonna go see if they'll accept the challenge. That's what I'm talking about, Tron! That's what I'm talking about! Excuse me, sir. Hey, what do you want? I'd like to make a little wager. A wager? Yeah, I'd bet this kid and his friends could beat you and your team in a game of basketball. <laughs> You know we the champions, right? Well, yes, sir, I do know that. Which is why I'd be willing to bet $50,000 that this kid could beat you in basketball. $50,000? Oh, you serious, serious? Oh, I'm serious. You don't have $50,000. Oh, shut up. Hey, so, uh, so we have a deal? Uh, hold on, let me see, let me see. Hey, y'all think we can beat these little kids in a basketball game? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got a challenge. All right, I'll get the rest of the kids. Hey, and if we, if we win... You never get to touch a basketball another day in your life, you got that? I don't know how you'd ever enforce that, but okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey kids, you ready to make me $50,000? What? He thinks we can beat a professional basketball team. But we can't beat a professional basketball team. Well, not on your own, but Jeffy can. He never misses. Yeah, guys, I think we can do it. All right, come on. All right, what scrums are we going up against? They're right there. Bruh, check out the half court shot. We're going up against th 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 them? I think so, dude. Don't worry, your friend here can't miss. Isn't that right, Jeffy? Right, I don't miss anything. I just keep making buckets. Okay, let's do this. Hey! <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually show up. What, do you think I'd make a $50,000 bet involving children and not show up? No, we're here and we're ready to play. Where's your team? Oh, my team's here. Hey, guys, and one girl. Come here. Yeah, my team's here. And we got another guy in the bathroom. But we here. All right, let's play then. Well, let's play then. Okay, let's play. Be prepared to never touch another one of these ever again in your life. Well, that's not really much of a change for me, but all right, yeah. Yeah, come on. Ow. All right, you guys ready for tip-off? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> hey, y'all, look. He's wearing a diaper. We're playing against a baby. <laughs> it's going to be easy. Jeffy, don't let him get in your head. All right. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Ugh. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Pass it to Jeffy! Yeah. He made that? Oh no. Come on, guys! Oh, it's on now! Oh my god, you see the three-pointer? Way to go, Jeffy! Good shot, Jeffy! On you! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, 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 uh. Yes, sir! What? What? It's on me, baby! Damn it! Come on, guys! Step it up! Oh, dude, I love basketball! Pass it to Jeffy! No, dude, I got this! Pass it to Jeffy! Oh, dude, I'm gonna make it! Watch this! Ugh. Oh, dude! Are you supposed to pass it to Jeffy? Dude, I just ate popcorn! Oh, yeah! Ooh. Oh, yeah! when you don't give the ball to Jeffy. Well, I'm sorry, dude. Pass the ball to Jeffy. God. Uh, 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 Jeffy! Oh, where are you going, Jeffy? Where are you going? Uh, I'm going this way. Uh. <laughs> we losing! We don't lose! Uh. Oh, my God! Another three points! We are killing it! You ain't got this? You ain't got this? Oh, here you go, Tron! <laughs> Get out of my house! This is my house! <laughs> Tighten up, Tron! Tighten up! Yeah, come on! Yeah, I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! Pass the ball to Jeffy! Yeah, but he's so far away, though! Where? Yeah, yeah, yeah! That's what I'm talking about! You got the ball stolen away from a girl? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, my girl did that! My girl did that! Yeah! She's a girl! She's a girl! <laughs> that happened because of you. I'm sorry. Okay, six to six. A tied game. Come on, we got this! Where you going? Where you going? You ain't making another shot today. Junior! Alley you! Okay! Uh. Y'all see me dunk you? Yeah, that was crazy! Yes, yeah, the shoes! Yes, yeah, those shoes! The shoes! Shoes? You can't cover me. You can't cover me. Woo. Hey, he took 
my shoes! Uh, how do I keep getting the ball? Just pass the ball to Jeffy. Hey, Jeffy. No! Wait, no, you take it. No, I don't have my shoes. He doesn't have his shoes. Uh, time out! Hey, you can't call time out. Time out, time out. Wait, what's going on? Why'd you guys call time out? One more shot and we win. Someone took my shoes. Yeah, someone took his shoes. What? Okay, I don't even have legs. Who cares? Why do you need shoes? There's something we didn't tell you. Wh what? The shoes he had on. They used to belong to Michael Jordan. They were magical shoes. And it, it made him where he wouldn't miss a single shot. What? Oh, oh, I don't have time for this shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What, well, okay, where's the shoes? Number one took them and number 11's eating them. Yeah, yeah, eat that. You deserve it, you earn it. What? what? Oh, okay, 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 F forget about the shoes. Okay, you, you never needed the shoes. Actually, we did. Yeah, well, they made them where he didn't miss a shot. Okay, well, we're just gonna have to do without them, okay? Because you can do this, okay? I know you can do this, I believe in you. Just just look deep within yourself, okay? Because if we lose this, I'm, I'm gonna go bankrupt and I will never be able to touch a basketball ever again. Although I'm a lot less worried about that one. So get back out there and just get one more shot. That's all we need. Okay, let's do it. Come on, let's play. One more shot wins the game. Oh. oh, what's the matter? You can't make a shot without your magical shoes? Um, actually, I cannot. Cody, here. <laughs> Cody, shoot it. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. Just shoot it. Okay. Yeah. You won that you didn't need shoes, you did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! They did it! Those kids won! They actually pulled it off! I could kiss you! I'm gonna kiss you! I'm gonna end up on some kind of list, but I'm still gonna kiss you! Do it again! Cody, we won! Let's go celebrate! I gotta admit, those kids, they're pretty good. Yeah, I mean that one kid probably just got lucky, but still, yeah, we won, so where's my money? Yeah, deal's the deal. You'll get your money. <laughs> Alright, awesome! Hey, Danny! Jeffy, what happened to your new shoes? Somebody ate them. No one ate them, Jeffy! Stop lying! Danny, you have no idea the truth behind what I just said. Hey, Marv! But Brooklyn guy. Uh, 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 it's $50,000 guy now. <laughs> $50,000? How'd you get all this money? Well, because your son helped me win a $50,000 bet. But I scored all the points. No, you didn't score the game-winning shot. But I still want to thank you by giving you some of this money. <gasps> we get some of that money? Well, I mean, I'm going to give it to your dad because that seems more responsible. Okay, how, how much are we getting? You are going to get $100. $100? Yeah, you can buy your kid some new shoes. Hey, Dad, can we get the Poop Stompers 3000s? <sighs> yeah, let's go. Sweet. Can't really pick it up. Wait, no, give it. I need it. Oh, sorry, sorry. Low in money, I just. It's so weird seeing Jeffy try to read a book. Marvin, Jeffy, what book are you reading? I can't read! It's a picture book and you gotta try to find things. And right now, I'm trying to find Minnie Mouse finger in her pooper. Her little rat pooper. Jeffy, Minnie Mouse is a mouse. She's not a rat. Oh, rat pooper! Jeffy, they're not gonna have Minnie Mouse doing stuff to her pooper in a kid's book. Well, how would you know? Have you looked? No. Well, then it could be there. Jeffy, what's the name of this book anyway? It's called I Spy. I Spy? Yeah, you gotta try to find things, like secret things, to really hard to find. Sir, 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 get in here! What is it, Lieutenant Simmons? You know how we listen in on Americans' phones for things that are suspicious? Yeah. Well, I heard something suspicious. Well, spit it out, goddammit. What'd you hear? These two guys admitted to being spies! Spies? In America? Yes, sir! I gotta listen in on this. Marvin, I'm hungry. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. Jeffy, what do you want for dinner? I spy Chinese. I do love Chinese. Me Chinese, me play joke, me go pee pee in your coke. My god, Chinese spies on American soil, here to steal our secrets and pee in our coke. Oh, I knew the coke's been tasting weird lately. Lieutenant Simmons, I want you to find these two Chinese bastards, question them, waterboard them, and then throw them in Guantanamo Bay. Yes, sir. 
Oh, yummy yummers. I love me some Chinese food. I don't like Chinese. Yummy noodle. Yum yum in my tum tum. Jeffy, don't talk like that. No, this is how you poke the talk when you eat panda eat prey. Jeffy, stop talking like that. Eat her yummy. Jeffy, talk normal. <laughs> Jeffy, talk normal. What, Dave? That's what you're supposed to do. I'm cultured. Jeffy. There's someone at the door. Just eat your Panda Express. Baby, try it. Ugh. Yummy in my tummy! Sir, I'm about to go in. I hear him speaking Chinese in there. Hello? Up against the wall, Chinese spy! What the hell are you talking about? I know you're a spy! Don't even try denying it! Now where's your accomplice? Accomplice? I don't have an accomplice! Yummy. I hear him talking! Oh, he's not speaking Chinese, he's screwing around. Let's go get him! Mommy, yummy, slurp, slurp the new dough. Like, <laughs> where's the other Chinese spy? We're not Chinese. Yummy, egg roll, in my tum tum. Oh, there he is! Y'all are coming with me! Where are you taking them? Uh, where are we? Okay, that light is really bright. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see if I can dim that for you. Nope, it only has two settings. Off in America. And if you don't love America, you can fuck off. No, we do love America. We're Americans. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Where are my manners? Can I get you boys something to drink? Maybe a Coke? Uh, no, we're good. No, I think you need a Coke. There you go. Take a sip, Marvin. I'm not really Take thirsty. a goddamn sip. Okay. <laughs> ah, why does it taste like that? Because I pissed in it. What? Yeah, let's see how you like it when somebody pee-pees in your coat, Chinese. What are you talking about? Don't even pretend like I didn't hear you say me Chinese, me play joke, me go pee-pee in your coke. Okay, Jeffy said that, I don't even know where he got that from. Oh, really? Then why did I hear both of you admit to being Chinese spies? What are you talking about? I heard you say I spy, and that is exactly how a Chinese would admit it. Oh, oh, this is just a big misunderstanding. Jeffy was reading an I spy book. A book? A Chinese book about spying? Was it written in Mandarin? No, 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 it has pictures in it. Pictures of Americans you're going to assassinate? No, it's a kid's book. Oh, so you're going to kill kids. American kids. No, 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 we're not going to kill any Americans because we are American. We're not Chinese. Then why did I hear you say I love Chinese? Oh, I was talking about I love Chinese food. Then why didn't you say food? Uh, well, well, see, my wife said, what do you guys want to eat? And Jeffy said Chinese, and I said, I love Chinese. But you didn't say food. You could have been talking about anything. Chinese cars, Chinese checkers, Chinese finger traps, Chinese people that you love more than Americans because you're Chinese. I'm not Chinese! Oh, Marvin, if that even is your real name, Hoi Xingping. What? I don't know. I was just trying to guess your real Chinese name. Tell me your Chinese name. Who do you work for? We don't work for anyone. We're Americans, I swear. That's it. No more Mr. Nice Tie. What? This is the tie I wear when I'm being nice. And when I'm not nice, I put on the not nice tie. Now, you don't want to see me in this tie. Well, don't put it on. But I'm going to put it on. Well, no, no, please don't put it on. Oh, no, I'm putting it on. It's too late. No, please don't put it on. No, I'm doing it. Here I go. No, please. What can we do to stop you from putting that on? Actually, I'm going to need a mirror for this. I'll be right back. No, please don't put it on. Oh, Jeffy's putting on the bad tie, whatever that means. Ugh, okay, I have my not nice tie on. Let's do this. Okay, listen, we're not going to answer any more questions until we have our lawyer. Oh, a lawyer! Oh, no, there are no lawyers here. Just the judge and the jury. So let's make a verdict. Okay, no, we, we plead the Fifth Amendment. Oh, amendments. Oh, that's cute. You think you have rights? No, there are no rights here either. Just one right and one left. So who wants to suck down these knuckle sandwiches? Ba-boom! Okay, listen, we are not Chinese, we're Americans! Oh, yeah? Hey, Marvin. You like Ben and Jerry's? Of course I like Ben and Jerry's. Who do you like more, Ben or Jerry? I don't know who the ice cream people, I just know the name. Really? What about Tom and Jerry? Which one's the mouse, Marvin, Tom, or Jerry? Um, I think the mouse is Jerry. Well, lucky guess. I didn't know they had that cartoon in China. I'm not from China! Hey, you want some Ben and Jerry's, Marvin? Um, yeah, I'll actually take some. I mean, that, that's really nice of you. I thought that tie made you mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 no, don't do that. Oh, why are you doing that? Fuck you. Oh, why'd you lick the ice cream? Go ahead, have some, Marvin. No, you licked it. Oh, it's okay. I don't have COVID. Remember when you did that? I didn't do that. We didn't do that. We're Americans. You're not going to have any Ben and Jerry's. No, you licked it. No red-blooded American would turn down Ben and Jerry's, Marvin. Okay, listen, we are not Chinese. What can I do to prove to you I'm not Chinese? Oh, you don't have to prove you're not Chinese. You just have to prove that you're American. Okay, tell me what to do. Tell me the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. Not you, him. I pray the reason to the flag of the United States of America. All right, you spies, meet your cellmate, Muhammad Mamukbar. Wait, is that a real-life terrorist? Yeah, he tried to blow up a Denny's, but since you guys are spies, you're staying in Guantanamo with him. Hey, Muhammad! Kaboom! 
Yeah, all that. Come meet your new cellmates. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, you filthy American. I hate you, you scum. I wouldn't even bang your first goat. Okay, do we really have to stay in a prison with him? Yes, you're spies. You betrayed America, so you have to get in there. Oh, please no. Come to my humble abode. So you're like a real life terrorist? Oh yes, I want to see death to all Americans. I want to make your kids cry. Why do you hate Americans so much? Because you're so damn cocky, driving around in your little Hyundai Sonatas, doing your taxes, eating McDonald's, uh, mowing your grass. Oh, so fucking disgusting. You could mow your shand. Oh, that's the point! I want to mow my own grass! Well, what do you get for killing Americans? Like, what reward do you get? Oh, I get rewarded 72 versions in heaven. <laughs> well, 73 seems crazy. Mm -hmm. How do you know they're all gonna be girls? What if they're guys? Who cares? Men ass, girl ass, goat ass, asses ass! I just think you just need to not kill anyone and just be happy. I don't care what you think, ball man. Move out the way. Play me in Jenga. <laughs> oh, you have Jenga in here? Mm -hmm. Let me go first. Hey, you two spies. Yeah? The Secretary of Defense wants to see you. Oh, do we have to go? Do you really want to stay in here with him? Oh, I got weapons of mass destruction in this toilet. No, not really. Then come on then. Uh, sir, you want to speak to us? That's right. Or should I say, Mugu got panned because you're Chinese spies? We're not Chinese! Oh, shut your eyes, hole. We already caught your red chopstick handed. Okay, look, we're not Chinese, but if we were, they'd be very offensive. Listen, if you two don't want to spend the rest of your Chinese lives in Guantanamo Bay, you're going to help out America. We'd love to help out America because we're Americans. Uh-huh, sure. So the Russian President, Vladimir Putin, is meeting with the Chinese President, Xi Jinping, and they're having a secret nuclear meeting at Applebee's tonight. Now, there are no Americans allowed, but since you you are Chinese, you can sneak into that meeting and tell us what they're talking about. We're not Chinese! You sure look Chinese to me, but if you two tell us what they're plotting... You dropped your hat. I'm aware of that! If you two tell us what they're plotting, we'll be willing to grant both of you American citizenship. Oh, we'd be happy to spy on them for ye. Don't talk like that, Jimmy. That's how you got us in this shithole in the first place. Now, both of you are going to be undercover at the restaurant as waiters. Okay, we'll do it. Um, I'll get your hat for No! You. No, I don't want your Chinese hands to touch my hat. Put my own goddamn hat on like an American. I tell you, Xi Jinping, there is no place on earth like Applebee's. It is almost enough to make me like America. Almost. Eaten goodry in the neighborhood. What does it mean? It means this community has good food. Oh, what do you recommend? The uh, four cheese mac and cheese honey pepper chicken tenders sound quite good. Oh, look, there's our waiter. Uh, hello, Mr. Vladimir Putin. She, she, she. Um, this is me, I'm Marvin, I'm your waiter, and this is my waiter assistant, Jeffy. Hey, bro, I am training to buy. Oh, another Chinese man! Yeah, it's here nice to meet you. I can just barely see you from way over here. Oh, I can barely see you as I will. All right, what would you guys like for drink? Uh, I would like vodka. Okay, a vodka, what would you like, sir? I would like a rice wine, or a soju for short. I don't think we have that. <sighs> I would just have a Sprite then. Okay, a Sprite and vodka, uh, what would you like to eat? We will have, um, how do you say this? Hamburger. Yes, I will have hamburger. All right, what would you like? I will have the chicken wonton tacos and the chicken alfredo. All right, that sounds really yummy. I'm going to go grab that food and I'll be right back. Yes, now let's get down to business. You want my oil? What the... What? What are you still doing here? Go get food! Now come oh, on, I come on Jeffy. No, Jeffy, I just come over here. Now, what are you willing to trade for my oil? I am willing to trade you nuclear weapons. Mm, I like this. How many nukes for oil? I am willing to give you two nukes per one oil. But the, the, the oil is measured in liquid, so like barrels or gallons or fluid ounces. I am willing to give you two nuke per one barrel. Oh shit, okay, deal. <laughs> yes, very good deal. I like this. I pay for dinner. This is nice. All right, Mr. Vladimir, here's your hamburger and your vodka. Oh, onions. Oh, yucky. Okay, well, I'm sorry you didn't specify you wanted no onions. And here you go, sir, here's your chicken alfredo. Oh, looks so delicious. And also, here's you guys' chicken wonton tacos. Let me know if you need anything. 
yummy. <laughs> uh, what the hell are you doing? Are you eating chicken wonton taco? No, the hell you aren't. I ordered those chicken wonton tacos. Uh, I'm pretty sure Vladimir ordered chicken wonton taco. Well, I'm pretty sure you're full of a shit. Okay. Waiter? Uh, yes, sir. Who ordered chicken wonton tacos? Uh, I, I think it was... Choose your words very carefully. Yes, sir. Choose your words very carefully. Uh, uh, I, I, re I remember it being... Uh, I, well, they're, they're an appetizer, so they're for the table to share. They share nothing. Neither do I. You give me one ton tacos or our deal is off. Well, it looks like our deal is off. Okay, fine. I don't want your nooks anyway. Fine, I did not want your oil anyway. Well, good. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Good. Chevy, they, did we just call off a major nuclear deal? It won't hit Rukarak, daddy. You two crazy Chinese sons of bitches actually did it! You got them to cancel their whole deal! Well, it was the chicken wonton tacos. Listen, I don't know what you're trying to say to me and your Chinese, but you two boys are officially American citizens. Go out there and live the American dream. <sighs> okay. Marvin, where did they take you guys? I was so worried! Listen, baby, it's been a long day. Everything's fine. I just want to lay down and relax. Well, I'm glad you two are home. Hey, you know what? When you guys were away, I was the best at I Spy. And you know what? I tried it, and it turns out I love the Chinese. No, just don't say that! I think you and I need to talk. You should have a Coke. Don't, oh, God damn it! Jeffy, me and Mommy are going out to eat, and we're going to leave you home alone, so don't make a mess, okay? All right, Daddy. Be safe, Jeffy. Are you going? All right. Since my Mommy and Daddy aren't here, I get to watch a TV show they told me not to watch. Oh, yeah. You know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, keep doing that. We forgot our keys. <gasps> Jeffy! We told you not to watch this TV show! Well, Jeffy, we said do not watch pogo sticking videos because then you're going to want to start pogo sticking and pogo sticking is dangerous. Marvin, Jeffy needs to watch more educational TV shows. Yes, he does. Like Window of the Explorer. What is that? It's a very educational TV show that you need to watch and we're going to watch it with him as a family. We're not going out to eat anymore. Hola, my name is Windowa. I'm an explorer. What's your name? Aw, this is fun! Jeffy, tell her your name! It's a TV, Mommy. She can't hear me. Jeffy, tell her your name. <sighs> Fine. My name is Hippo Butthole. That's a cool name! My parents don't supervise me. Do you want to go on an adventure with me? No! Jeffy, be nice! Great! But we can't go on an adventure without my friend Sandals the Monkey. Can you help me find him? He's behind the tree. Where is he? I said he's behind the tree, but you can't hear me because it's a TV! Where? Say it louder, Jeffy. Maybe she didn't hear you. He's behind the tree! Where? The tree! Behind the tree! Where? I swear to God, if you say where one more time, I'm going to look my... Jeffy, 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 calm down. But he's behind the tree, Daddy! I know, he's behind the tree. Where? Oh my god, Daddy! Take me to the jungle because I'm gonna strangle her! Well, Jeffy, just calm down. Say it one more time. Maybe she'll hear you this time. But the monkey is right behind you! Where? I literally can't help you. It's right there. It's not my fault you can't see it. Daddy, she's blind. Legally blind. <laughs> oh, there he is! Thank you for helping me find him. Now we can go on our adventure. Thank God! Thank God, Daddy! We finally get to go on your stupid adventure! Okay, just calm down, Jeffy. Just watch the show. Wait! We can't go on an adventure without my binoculars. Can you help me find my binoculars? <sighs> this shit again? Jeffy, language! Look, help her find her binoculars! They're around her neck like my hands are going to be when I'm strangling her! Jeffy, tell her where they're at. Around your neck. Where are they? No way. No way is she this dumb. Where? 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 I'm not even going to help her. I'm just going to let the monkey do it this time. Where could they be? Ow! It's not polite to hit sandals. That monkey has more patience than me because I would have slapped her a long time ago. Oh, there they are. Now let's go on our adventure. Finally. Finally. Now we can go on this dumb adventure. It better be worth it. To start our adventure, we have to find out where we're going. Let's ask Google Maps. 
Google Maps, Google Maps, Google Maps, Google Maps, Google Maps! I know where we're going. First, we go through the rabies bat cave, and then we sneak through the sneaky snake pit, and finally, we get to the poison ivy river. <gasps> that sounds scary. I hope she dies. Jiffy, let's go. Windowa, 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 the explorer. Hey there. Oh no, it's Killer the lion. Can you help me stop him from killing us? Say it with me. Killer, no killing. Killer, please kill her! Jiffy, killer, stop it! No killing! Oh, rats! You said it three times, now I can't kill you! Yay, we did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! Oh, wait! You words can't stop me from killing you! Jesus Christ! Poor Windowa! Thank God! Jeffy! She was the most annoying person on TV! I really hope she's okay. Look, the news! Breaking news! Okay. Famous television actress Windowa is thought to have been killed by a lion on national television. Her partner, Sandals the Monkey, has a shocking interview now. Let's go to that. <laughs> Truly devastating. There is a jungle-wide search for Windowa, and if you find her alive, the police are offering a $20,000 reward. Man, I really hope they find her. $20,000? Dang, I can go find her. No, Jeff, you're not going out in the woods. There's lions out there and it's dangerous. You're staying inside. <sighs> All right, Daddy. Um, 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 oh, man, this Five Guys burger is so good. Hey, Junior, did you see what happened to Windowa? Yeah, she got ate by that lion. It was so sick. Yeah, did you also see that they're offering a $20,000 reward if we find her? If we find her in the woods? Yeah, so I was coming to see if you wanted to help me find her. Oh, yeah, let's go in the woods and try to find her. All right, let's go, Junior. All right, let's go. All right, Junior, let's go out here and try to find Windowa so we get that reward. What, Jeffy, why do you have to talk like that? Oh, because I'm wearing a cowboy hat, and I thought that's how I had to talk. Was well, mine a cowboy hat? Um, sure. Where you be, 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 be. There you go, Jeffy. All right, so uh, let's try finding her. All right. But well, this is a big forest, Jeffy. What are the odds of finding her? Oh no, Junior, it's gonna be really what? hard. Jeffy, what? Uh, isn't that her bandana? <gasps> Junior, there's her binoculars. Oh, look, her binoculars. That's so cool. Okay, that means we're close to finding her. Junior, what? There's her hand. What? Oh my God! Her hand. What? Her leg! Oh my god, Jeffy. Okay, so obviously, she she might still be okay. She, she'll she still have, like, her other arm and her other leg, right? Junior? What? Look. Ah! Oh, okay, 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 okay. What do we do? I don't know, Junior. We need to call somebody. Well, well hold on. Do we still get the reward? No, because she's dead. Wait, well, hold on, hold on. Maybe they'll give us money per part. So maybe they'll give us, like, $1,000 for her leg, $1,000 for her arm. 10,000 for her head. Yeah. yeah, so let's start collecting the pieces and see what they'll give us. All right, Junior. All right, Jeffy, here's all the pieces we found. Hey, Junior, watch this. I'm gonna give her a low five. Wouldn't that be a low four because you guys only have four fingers? Oh, um, yep, yep, I guess you're right. Let's go get our reward. But who do we call to get the reward? I think we call the news. All right, well, now I'm gonna call the news. Hey, guys, did you hear what happened to Window? Whoa, 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 whoa. Junior, why is Window's head and body parts on your couch? Because me and Jeffy became explorers and we went in the forest and found her. So you brought the body parts back here? Yep, so we can get a reward. Wait, you're not gonna get a reward, Junior. Wait, we're probably not gonna get the full 20,000, but I was thinking we can get 10,000 for her head, 1,000 for her leg, and 1,000 for her arm. That's $12,000. That's $6,000 for me and Jeffy. But no, you're not going to get anything because the reward was for if she was alive. No, they're going to give us something for these body parts or we'll go elsewhere to sell them. No, Junior. No, you're going to go to jail. But why would we go to jail? Because you brought the body parts here so it looks like you killed her. Everyone knows we didn't kill her. It was the lion. And I'm not lying. Balloon tits. Junior, this is really, really bad. What? No, it's not. What was I supposed to do when I found her? You're supposed to call the police. But then they would have taken the reward. But no, they would investigate the crime scene. There's nothing to investigate because we all saw what happened to her on TV, dummy. Junior. You're just mad because you're not going to get any of the money for finding any of her body parts. No, Junior. I don't want anything to do with any of this. Well, okay, then where do we sell the parts to if you say if the calling the cops are going to get us in trouble? I don't know the black market. I don't know people who buy body parts. I, I will buy those binoculars, though. Here, you want 20 bucks for him? What, 20 bucks? Is, is that a good deal? Yeah, sold. Okay, you can have them. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Now I can look inside people's windows while they undress. Wait, 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 wait. Do, do you want her bandana? Uh, no. No, I don't want it. Okay. 
Okay, I'll just take these binoculars and go. All right, we made 20 bucks off those binoculars. That's $10 each, Junior. Heck yeah. All right, yeah. so let's go find a black market to sell these body parts, because if we call the cops, we'll get in trouble, apparently. All right, let's go. Uh, hey. Hey, welcome to the black market. We buy illegal things. What can I do for you today? We have something we think you might like. Fish? I'm a dolphin. I eat fish. No, Jeffy, show him. Whoa, is that Windoa? Yep, that is the Windoa. She went missing today, so we went to the forest and we found her. Nice, so uh, you looking to sell or pawn? Sell. All right, well, the best I can do is 100 bucks. 100 bucks? The news said she's worth $20,000. No, that's only if she's alive. This is pretty much worthless. Well, well, no, we found her head and her leg and her arm. Can you at least do, like, 12000 No, nah, sorry, the best I can do is 100 bucks. Well, I didn't know this was useless. Yeah, but you know, if you'd have brought me her binoculars, I would have given you $50,000. $50,000 for the binoculars? We had the binoculars. You wish. No, no, we did it. We sold them for $20. Yeah, well, you got ripped off. Well, why are they worth so much? Well, because she's dead and they're a collector's item. Apparently, she only ever used one pair of binoculars, so they're worth a lot. Well, well, well I promise we had them, so if we can get them back, will you, will you, will you buy them from us? Yeah, if you bring me those binoculars, I'll give you $50,000. Jeffy, we have to find Cody and get those binoculars back. Damn right we do! Okay, we'll be right back. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, do, you, what, what do you want to do with this? Uh, we want to sell that. Oh, well, here. Okay. Hey guys, why'd you call me over? I was just outside playing with my binoculars. I was looking at everything. They're so cool, I'll never get rid of them. Well, I think they're dumb and they make your head look fat. But why'd you call me over? Well, me and Jeffy were talking it over and we decided that we feel bad. We feel bad for ripping you off by selling you those binoculars. But you didn't rip me off. Yes, we did. $20 was way too much to charge you for those. So we feel bad. You bought them from us for $20, Well, we want to buy them back for $100. Yeah, that's an $80 profit. But, but I don't want to sell these. Why not? Well, because I'm Windoa's biggest fan and these are the binoculars she died with. I'm not going to get rid of these. You're not Windoa's biggest fan. Well, yes, I am. I know the theme song and everything. Well, well they mean more to me and Jeffy because we found them. Well, you don't even care about Windoa. Yes, we do. We care enough about her to go look for her. You didn't go look for her. Well, no, because I was too busy crying. Well, that's dumb. What if we offer you $120? Well, no, Junior. No amount of money is going to make me give you those binoculars. Well, what if we trade you something cool? Well, what? Um, um, we, 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 we have so many cool things to trade. Right, Jeffy? Mm hmm Yeah, we have so many cool things. Um, uh, hold on. I'm going to grab all the cool stuff that we can trade for those binoculars. All right, Cody, this is what I have to trade. What, what is that, a mostly eaten cheeseburger? Not just any mostly eaten cheeseburger, a five guys mostly eaten cheeseburger. Junior, I want five guys, but not the restaurant. But the cheeseburgers are good. I know their cheeseburgers are good, but I don't want your half-eaten cheeseburger. Are you sure? Because I was going to finish this, but I saved it to trade for you. Well, you can go ahead and finish it, because I don't want it. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, get the other thing. Uh. All right, this thing you can't turn down. What, what is that? It's a to-go drink from Chili's. Why would I want a to-go drink from Chili's? Because it's a strawberry lemonade. Yeah, it slaps. Really? It's empty. Yeah, I drank it all. Why would you give me an empty to-go drink from Chili's? Because you can go back and probably get a refill or something. I don't want it. Ugh. All right, Jeffy, get the other thing. Oh. I really didn't want to get rid of this, but I'll do it for you. Whoa, what is that? It's a half-eaten Uncrustable. What? Do you have any Uncrustables that are not eaten? No, I, I eat about half and I stop eating them. Why don't you just finish the Uncrustable? Because there's so much left, I get full. Well, Junior, I don't want your half-eaten Uncrustable. You don't want any of this stuff? No, Junior, why are you just bringing me your leftover food? Because it's the food that was left in my room and Chef will ground me if he finds food in my room. Well, this is gross and I don't want it. I, 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 mean, <sighs> I mean, if you had like a full Uncrustable, we'd be talking, but no, I don't want this. Well, look, Cody, we really need those binoculars back. Well, no, Junior, I want to keep these binoculars. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Sandals the monkey has been arrested for allegedly hiring the lion to kill Windoa. If you have any evidence, please turn it into local police now. Oh no, I have to turn these binoculars into the police. No, no you don't. Well, yes, I do, Junior. It's evidence. We'll hand them over. Me and Jeff will turn them in. No, I don't trust you. I'm doing it myself. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we're not gonna get the money for the binoculars! Oh, Junior, this sucks! Thanks, kid, for turning in these binoculars. It's really gonna help the investigation a lot. Yeah, whatever I can do to help avenge Windoa. Alright, you have a good night. Did he give them to you? Yup, like taking candy from a baby. Sweet, now let's go get our $50,000. <laughs> yeah. Alright, blowhole head, here's the binoculars. Where's our 50 grand? Wow, you actually got them. Here you go. Sweet! 25,000 each! Who's my little cuddle muffin? Aw, 
Who's my little snuggle bear? I am my little strawberry shortcake. With a cherry on top? Of course with a cherry on top. Who is it? Are you cherry? guys done? Jeffy, how long have you been standing there? Long enough to throw up in my mouth and swallow it. What do you want, Jeffy? I want some help building my Lego pirate ship. Jeffy, I don't have time to build a Lego pirate ship. But dang, it'd be really quick. It's only 1,260 pieces. And if it takes us 30 seconds per piece, that's only 630 minutes, which is only 10 and a half hours. So let's get started. Jeffy, I'm not going to assemble Legos for 10 and a half hours. Marvin, you should spend more time with Jeffy. But my little cuddle muffin, I don't want to assemble Legos for 10 and a half hours. Well, Boo Berry Bear, you could do the first five and a half hours, and then I could take over for the last five hours. But baby, I don't want to assemble Legos. Hey, Dad, check this out. If you buy me two more of these sets, we can build the Pirate House and the Pirate Island. Then we have the whole collection, and that would be the tits. I'm not buying you any more Legos, Jeffy, until you assemble this Lego set. So how about this? If you assemble the Lego Pirate Ship by yourself, then I'll buy you the other two sets that you can assemble by yourself. How about that? One day, yesterday, I was watching this naughty video that had the exact same title, three in one. Jeffy, I'm not gonna assemble Legos with you, so take this to your room and assemble it by yourself. Who's that? Hopefully someone to help me build my Lego shit. Oh, let me see what it is. Uh, hello? Help me! Help me, please! You have to hide me! Wait, are you Goodman's butler? Well, yes, but not anymore! It's a long story! Please! Hide me! Please! Uh, okay, come upstairs! Thank God! So, Marvin, who was at the door? It was Mr. Goodman's butler. My name is Chives. Well, Chives, what are you doing here? I had to run away from Mr. Goodman. I couldn't stand the constant bickering and nagging and him demanding me to say sir at the end of every sentence. Sir. Well, why'd you run away? Why didn't you just quit? Because he would kill me! You don't understand! I'm the 14th butler this year! I've seen things! Things he doesn't want the world to know! So if a butler wants to quit, he just kills them! Well, you can stay here. I, I promise you, he's not gonna come looking for you here. Thank you! What? Who's that? That must be him! Please! You have to hide me now! I'll do anything! Oh, oh, oh hide in the bathroom! <sighs> okay, I I'm gonna go answer the door and, and, and tell him he's not here. Uh, hello? Is shithead here? Who? That bald-headed bastard! What? I don't know who you're talking about. My butler, Marvin! What? I didn't even know you had a butler. Oh, stop tugging my balls, Marvin. I know he's here because I have a tracker in his colon. And my Find My Butler app led me right to your house. What, your Find My Butler app? Well, I didn't, there, there's no butler in my house. Your phone must be acting up. Oh, really? Because if I press this button, it'll shock his colon. What? You don't have to press that. I'm gonna press it. Well, don't, don't, don't press it. I'm pressing it. <laughs> Found him. What? Hmm. The Find My Butler app says he's in here. He's not in my bathroom. We should go check another room. He could be in your shower. He's not in the shower. Let's see. <laughs> there he is. What? No, no, that's just my screaming shower curtain. I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, really? I would love to see it scream again. <laughs> okay, look, I will pull back the curtain to show you he's not in the shower. Okay. Run. Oh, yes, these pipes are lovely. Master Marvin, I was just fixing your pipes. Thank you so much for hiring me again. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Oh, Goodman, old chap. I didn't even notice you there. Oh, old Marvin here, he was just hiring me to fix his pipes. Did I say you can leave the house, Chives? Well, well no, sir, but I... That is unacceptable. That is three spankings for you with the paddle. Is that the paddle with or without the spikes, sir? The spikes. You know that, Chives. Now go warm my Lamborghini. Yes, sir. God, you're getting old. It's so hard to find good help around here, Marvin. Now walk me to the car. Uh, okay. All right, Chives. You know the Lamborghini doesn't come with heated seats, so I'm gonna need you to pull your pants down and warm up my seat with your bare ass cheeks. Very good, sir. What are you doing? You don't have to take this. You can stand up for yourself. You can say, I don't want to work for you anymore, and stand up for yourself. <sighs> You know what, you're right. I don't have to take this anymore. I'm a man! Master! Did you just raise your voice at me, Chives? You have a dirty mouth. You get in that car! No, sir. I, I, I was just letting you know that I took the liberty to warm the baby oil for the butt spankings later. You rub that Vaseline all over those ass cheeks, Chives. Now get in the car! Yes, sir. Thanks for helping me find him, Marvin. You want to watch the spankings? Oh, no, I'm good. All right, he's going to get spankings in my car. Here it comes, Chives. Uh, one, sir. Stop tensing up. Uh, two, sir. Marvin, what was that all about? I don't know, but I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Danny, since you don't want to build the pirate ship, can we make a Play-Doh pizza and eat it? What? No, Jeffy, you can't eat Play-Doh. It's poisonous. Oh, that's why I run out of Play-Doh so fast. But then why did they make it look like pizza? It's supposed to be like a joke. <laughs> I'm not laughing, Daddy. Well, look, how about we do something else? What? Who's that? Hold on. Hello? Marvin, please! You have to hide me again! I escaped Goodman and those pirates! 
Powell for spanking. But he has a track on your butt. He's got to find you again. I need you to help me remove it. Now, come. Marvin, who was at the door this time? Marvin, quick. Stick your hand up my rear to get the tracking device out. Marvin, what is going on? I'm not sticking my hand up your butt. I'll do it. No, you're not going to do it, Jeffy. Fine. I'll do it myself. Oh, it came out. Oh, thank God. Hurry, grab it so we can flush it. I I'm not going to grab it. Oh, fine. I'll do it myself. Ew. Why'd you put it in your mouth? All right, Marvin, flush it. Okay. Good men will never find me now. Okay. Marvin, what is going on here? Look, there was a tracking device in his butt, and we flushed it so Goodman couldn't find him. Exactly. Oh no, that must be Goodman again. Marvin, please, you must hide me again. No, find your own hiding spot. Excellent idea. Uh, hello? Where is he? Uh, what's the bat for? I'm gonna beat his bald head with my baseball bat. This is my bald-headed baseball bat beater. Well, I promise you, your butler's not in my house. My Find My Butler app said he's in the exact same spot that he was in last time. So I'm gonna go beat your screaming shower curtain with my baseball bat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How do you like that, Chai? Pull the curtain back. Uh, okay. What? Hold on. My Find My Butler app says he's right here. Well, no, he's not here. No. Oh, I see what you did. Wait, wait, what? You flushed him down the toilet, didn't you? I can't flush him down the toilet. Flush me down the toilet, Marvin. What, flush you down the toilet? Yeah, I'm going in after him. Flush me down the toilet! Uh, uh, okay. All right, Marvin, flush me. Okay. I'm coming for you, Chives. I'm coming. Marvin, can you please tell me what's going on? I just flushed Goodman down the toilet. What? Thank goodness, sir. I was hiding under the sink five more seconds and I think he would have found me. You saved my life. I'll do anything for you, sir. I'll, I'll be your servant. I'll cut your toenails. No, no, that, that's fine. You, you can just go home. But wait, Marvin, he's a butler. He could take care of Jeffy and do all the things with Jeffy that you don't want to do. Uh, good thinking, baby. But well, you're so smart. Uh, yeah, yeah, he could, he could build the Lego set and, and, and the Play-Doh pizza. Uh, Chives, there is one thing you can do for me. Of course, anything, sir. I want you to be Jeffy's butler, you know, and, and do everything he says. Anything's better than working for Goodman, of course. All right, Jeffy, so this is Chives. He's your butler. He'll do anything you say. That is the tits. All right, butter pillow baby. Let's go to the bedroom. Okay, Flutterby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all are gay. Indeed, sir. So, Master Helmethead, what is your first request? There. Well, first I want you to build my 1,260-piece pirate Lego set. That is a lot of pieces. It might take me a little while, sir. Yeah, it'll take you exactly ten and a half hours. Because with 1,260 pieces and one piece every 30 seconds, that equals 630 minutes, which equals ten and a half hours. So you better get started. Of course, sir. I'll be on that right away. Great. Ugh. There you are, sir. Your Lego pirate ship. All 1,260 pieces. Huh. It took you 10 hours and 45 minutes. It was only supposed to take you 10 and a half hours. Well, you see, sir, there are many small pieces, and my vision's not as good as it used to be. Oh, oh well. Let's go see if it floats. Uh, floats, sir? Ah! That took me over 10 hours to build! It didn't float. Uh, of course it didn't, sir. There's no water in the tub. Oh! Oh, maybe we should put water in it. Build it again. Uh, I think I saw a of pizza set upstairs. How about we go do that instead? Okay, let's go make a pizza. Thank God. All right, sir. Your Play-Doh pizza is ready. Eat it. You want you want me to eat it, sir? Yeah, eat it. I would rather not. I eat it all the time. It's good. Eat it, sir. I I would rather not. I uh, said eat it. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Mmm, mm, so good, sir. Take a real bite. Yes, sir. What's that over there, sir? Where? Oh, wow, that was so good. That was so delicious. I, I could have another. Oh, you ate it already? I'll just make you know. Uh, no, sir, I, I'm so stuffed from the first one. I couldn't dare. But why don't we do something else? All right. Here, make me some water balloons. Yes, sir. Sir, your water balloons are ready. All right, thanks. Do with them as you wish, sir. Oh, it didn't break. Please don't do that again, sir. Th sir! Good heavens! Don't, don't put that down, sir! That, that well, really that didn't break either! You know, uh, ow, sir! Sir, 
I, I must implore you, please, let's, how about we go do something else, sir? All right. So I decided you need to wear a uniform. Sir, I already am wearing a uniform. No, I think you need to wear something more formal. Put this on. Sir, this is a chicken suit. Yeah, put it on. Must I absolutely have to, sir? Did I stutter? I said put it on! You did not stutter, sir. I will get to it right away. I have put on the chicken suit, sir. Alright, good. Now I want you to act like a chicken. Of course, sir. Bok. 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 No, that's not realistic enough. I want you to act like a real chicken. I will do my best, sir. Good. Now, I want you to color a paint down in this coloring book. Which one, sir? Just pick one, any one of them, but it's got to be perfectly within the lines. Absolutely, sir. Right on it. Sir, your perfectly colored book as requested. Chimes? What the heck? W whatever do you mean, sir? You colored outside the lines, you blind old fart! Oh. Idiot! <sighs> Sir, the ears were hard to see, and there's a beak in my face. Well, find another picture and color it perfectly, dummy! You know what? No! I don't have to deal with this anymore! Not from you, nor from Goodman! I quit! Good day, sir! I don't have to deal with this anymore! Oh, Goodman, old chap, where have you been? In the sewer? Looking for your tracker that's supposed to be in your butt! Uh, that must have fell out when I used the restroom earlier, sir. Mm. Uh, actually, you know what? I don't have to deal with this anymore, sir! I'm finally sticking up for myself! I quit! Huh? Oh no, you quit? Oh, uh, are you working for Chick-fil-A? Is that what this is? Uh, well, no, but anything's better than working for you, you old bag! Wow, no one's ever stood up for me before. It almost, it almost sounds like you need to put this chip back in your ass. Good. Day, sir. Well, you know what? I got 20,000 different reasons why you should put that microchip back in your ass. Shall I warm the Lamborghini with my butt cheeks, sir? Indeed. Absolutely, sir. Get your ass back in the car. Jeffy, how's your butler doing? Yeah, you having fun? No, he quit. He quit? Yeah, but it's okay, Daddy. I got this new Lego set. And I know you were upset about the last one because it was going to take like ten and a half hours. But this one's only a thousand and two pieces. And at 30 seconds per piece, that'll take 501 minutes and just under eight and a half hours. Well, get started, Marvin. <sighs> okay, let's build this one. Okay, guys, you ready to play Greedy Granny? Yeah, dude, it's been forever since the last time we had a game night. And tonight's the perfect night for it because it's raining outside. How do you even play this game? Well, you spin the spinner here, and whatever number it lands on, that's how many times you press this button, and you try to steal a treat from Granny. But if she wakes up and spits her teeth out, you lose. She looks dead. Oh, trust me, she's not dead. She's one of Greedy Granny. All right, Cody, you go first. Okay. Um, looks like I have to press it once. <sighs> okay. Your turn, Junior. Okay. How many times do I gotta press it? Uh, one time. Can you press it for me? Uh, okay. Okay, get your treat. Can you grab it for me? Why do I have to do everything? Because you're right there. Okay, your turn, Joseph. All right, my time to shine. Ugh. Ooh, two times? Uh, can you press it for me, dude? Uh, okay. Ah! Ah! That was kind of a delayed reaction, Jeffy. Well, I'm missing a chromosome, so it takes my brain a second to process the signal. Marvin, did you just hear Jeffy scream? I think so. Well, what if he's hurt? Go check on him! Jeffy! Stop screaming, you goober! Marvin, go check on him! He's fine. Oh, Cody, you lost. Yeah, yeah, you lost, Cody. What, how did I lose? Because you pressed the button for Joseph. Mm hmm what, But it was Joseph's turn! But it was your finger that made her wake up. Yeah, it was the pressure of your finger, dude. Yeah, if, if Joseph would have pressed it, it wouldn't have went off. But since you pressed it so hard, you wanted Joseph to lose. Yeah. Well, it was gonna go off no matter who pressed it. You have a problem with Joseph. You pressed it hard so yeah. she would wake up. What? No, this is stupid. I don't want to play this game anymore. Why? Because you cheated to make Joseph lose? Cheater! What? You guys are cheating! Oh, no. All right, listen, we'll just play a different game. But Cody, no more cheating. Well, I'm not Cody. cheating. Come on, get it together. Oh, there's someone at the door. Oh, you'll get up to go check the door, but not on Jeffy? <sighs> Hello? Hey, buddy, we're here for the surprise. Lady, where are we? Uh, sh don't worry about that, Karen. You know what? You just stay right here while I finish getting your surprise ready. What's going on? Shut up. Let me come inside. Uh, Karen, you stay here. 
So what's going on? Oh, I screwed up really bad, man. Today's my wife's birthday, but I totally forgot. But I told her that I didn't forget and that I had a big surprise planned for her. So what's the surprise? Well, see, that's the thing. I don't really have a big surprise. I lied. You lied? Yeah, so I thought we could just set up a birthday party here, and I could tell it was a big surprise party that I planned a long time ago. You want us to lie? Yes, exactly. A big convincing lie, yeah. But we don't have the stuff for a party here. Well, exactly. And that's why I brought two for $60 for your wife to go buy party supplies while we distract my wife. I don't want to lie! Bitch, please! Just help me out here! It's not that hard, okay? Look, it's not even a lie if we really do it. Well, what kind of party supplies? You know, like balloons and cupcakes, party shit! I don't know, go, okay? Just... Okay! Jesus. How do you even deal with her? Uh, how do we distract your wife? I don't know. Do you have anything fun? Well, the kids are playing board games downstairs. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, just ground all of them and we'll take their board games and play them with my wife. Is board games enough to distract your wife? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, my wife is an absolute dunce, okay? A complete nincompoop. Okay, so I'll go get the board games and you go get your wife. Yes, I will go do that. What are we supposed to do, Cody? I think you're supposed to bend over in front of it and let it floss your butt crack. I'll pass. What are you kids doing? We're playing board games! Well, Jeffy, you're grounded for screaming earlier. I was scared! Well, it hurt my ears, so grounded. Well, at least we can keep playing. No, all you kids, you better go upstairs or I'm gonna tell your parents you were doing drugs. Ah, oh, snitch. Well, what's your deal, dog? Well, we're having an adult party downstairs and there's no kids allowed. Well, I wanna go to the adult party. I'm 18. No, it's my house, so you gotta listen to my rules, Jeffy. So all the kids upstairs. Gee. Now! Uh, <sighs> okay. Hey, Karen! Friday, it's raining outside! Well, it's gonna be worth it when you see a surprise. Come on! Hey, you ready? Yeah, I got a bunch of board games. Oh, that's perfect. Hey, I grabbed a beer out of your fridge. I hope you don't mind. Boydy, where are we? Oh, you can take your blindfold off now, Karen. <gasps> Boydy, what is this? Surprise! Surprise! It's a surprise party! Boydy, you threw me a surprise party? I thought you forgot! No, no, I would never forget your birthday. But look, we're gonna play board games before your party! Board games? Yeah, I know, so just pick one. Uh, let's play this one. Mm -hmm. Stir the pot. Uh, it says it roasts your friends for you. Yeah, it's a great game. Super fun. <gasps> you played it before? No, but we totally should. Yeah, let's do it. So how do we play this game, Boiny? Well, you draw a card, and whoever the card describes the best gets to keep the card. Oh, how fun! I want to go first. Who is most likely to talk through the whole movie? <laughs> That'd be you, Karen. I <laughs> do not, Boiny. Yeah, you do. Take the card. Let's see what I got. Let's see, who has the shortest attention span? That's another card for you, Karen. That's not true. <gasps> oh my God, I love this wall color. It's so orange. Yeah, I'm just gonna give you this card. All right, my turn. All right, who comes the least prepared? That's you because you forgot her birthday. Shut the fuck up. Oh, it's my turn again. Let's see, who needs a new button? <laughs> that sounds like you again, Karen. Boyney, that's not very nice. Yeah, well, it's true. You need to be quieter. All right, let's see. Who has the most annoying voice? Another card for you, Karen. Wow, you're good at this game. I don't like this game, Boiny. It's kind of mean. Oh, I love this game. All right, it's my turn again. All right, let's see. Who never shuts the fuck up? Wow, Karen, another card for you. You should go pro. Okay, you know what? It's my turn again. I'm going. Who is most likely to get offended by a joke? Well, that one's for you, Boiny. I don't get offended. I don't get offended at anything. I love jokes. I laugh at jokes all the time. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm going to go again. Let's see. Who is most likely to get checked into anger management? Oh, that's another one for you, Boiny. I don't have anger problems, Karen. I just need to be away from you. Okay, let's see what we got. Whose phone do you want to go through the most? Let me see your phone. Oh, you're never going anywhere near that damn thing. I want to see your phone. No, Get it out, no, no, I'm going to draw a card now. Let's see. Uh, who is most likely to start an argument for no reason? Well, that sounds like you, care because you're starting shit. No, I'm boiny. You started this whole argument oh, during the card game. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I, I got a card. I got a card. How about how about this? Um, Who would bitch out their grandma for not giving them enough birthday money? Oh, yeah. That'd be me. Yeah, Gam Gam only gave me $5 for my 37th birthday. She knew I needed rent money. She's loaded. She can afford it. But Gam Gam is a stingy bitch. I hope you fucking die, Gam Gam. You know what? I don't want to play this game anymore. It's making me pissed off about Gam Gam. Boiny, maybe you should stop drinking. Actually, I was just thinking I need another one. Well, I'll get a different game. Ugh, stupid Karen starting shit. Hey, you yelling at your wife on her birthday? Yeah, she started it. Well, what are you doing? I'm getting more beer. It's the only way I'm going to get through the rest of this party. Well, just try to calm down. You're being kind of crazy. Yeah, well, that's up to her. Okay, I'm back. Aw, Boiny, you brought a beer for everyone? <laughs> Good joke, Karen. You should be a comedian. No, these are all for me. Well, I went ahead and picked out the next game. It's called Spin the Dare. And you spin the arrow, whoever it lands 
someone picks up a card and they have to do the dare. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna spin to go first. Well, it doesn't matter who spins first, Karen. It, it doesn't even matter who spins as long as it's whoever it lands on. Boyny, it's my birthday. I'm spinning first. Oh, Boyny, it landed on you. You get to draw a card and do the dare. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let another player go through your camera roll for two minutes. That's not happening. Oh, I'll go through your phone, Boyny. You're not going through my phone, Karen. What do you have to do with that? Well, how about this? How about we can all skip one dare, but only one? I'll remember that, Boiny. Okay, so I have to do this dare. Let's see. Invite the last person you called who isn't already here to come join in on the fun. Oh, hell no. Who was the last person you called? It was Jonathan, but I only called him to tell him to stop calling me. Boiny, invite your brother over. Call him. That's not happening. Then let me go through your phone. I guess I'm calling Jonathan. Okay, it's ringing. Hey, looking guy! You won't block my number? No, this is for a dare. That's the only reason I called you. I knew you didn't hate me. Oh, I do, but we're playing this game and it dared me to call you and invite you to Karen's birthday party. <gasps> Karen's birthday party? I'm on my way! <sighs> oh, that's him. Hello? Where's Karen? Because I heard there was a fire in my pants. <laughs> is that my fireman outfit? Stop it. Stop. Stop stripping. I said stop it! Oh, why? Doesn't Karen want a sexy stripper for her birthday? Yeah, maybe if it was a sexy one. Look, just go home, change into a normal outfit, wash my fireman outfit, because I'm assuming you're not wearing underwear. Nope. Okay, yeah, wash that, and then come back, and I'll let you in. Okay. Okay, he's here, so I win the deal. So, where's your birthday girl? I'm right here! Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Why'd you catch it, Karen? I don't know, Boiny. So, have you gotten your birthday spanking yet? Cause I'm gonna give you 18, cause there's no way you're a day over 18. Aw, Boiny, did you hear that? He thinks I'm young. Yeah. Wait, I didn't miss the part where Karen gets in her birthday suit, did I? Okay, Jonathan, just calm down and let's play this game, okay? It's called Spin the Dare, okay? So you, so you just draw a card and you do the dare that's on the card and it's your turn. But Boiny, you gotta spin it. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. It's Jonathan's turn. Now pick a card, Jonathan. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, this one's spicy. Reveal who you F, marry, and kill using people from the group. Well, I killed Yuki guy. Thanks. And then I would marry Karen. Aww. And then I would F Karen over and over and over and over and over and pushing the pillow. Okay, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, uh, we can all skip a dare and you're skipping that dare, okay? Pick a different dare. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's juicy. Take a selfie, kissing the person to your left on the lips and post it on social media. Pucker up, baby. Oh, okay, okay, I don't want to play this game anymore. We're still, we're going to stop playing. No! That's not fair! You can't do that! There's no part of the rules that it's Karen's birthday! We're not doing that, Jonathan. Let's play Twister instead. Oh, hell yeah. Twister can do. No, no, Twister the game. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a game. Okay, let, let, let's start the game. So what are the rules for Twister? Well, you spin this spinner, and then whatever body part and color it lands on, you put that body part on that color. But Boiny, we don't have feet, so what happens if it spins on left foot or right foot? Ooh, I know! I'm gonna fix your board! We'll be right back! Alright, so I fixed your board. So now it says Karen's butt or Karen's boobs. We're not playing this. Go ahead and spin, Karen! Oh, uh, okay! Butt, 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 butt green! Rose says the party's ready. Oh, thank God. Uh, Karen, it's time to put your blindfold back on. Ooh, great idea, looking guy. That way she doesn't see where she's sitting. No, no, it's for the party. Come on, Karen. Okay, the party's ready. Wow, this party actually doesn't look too bad. I did a good job. Boiny, I can't see where I'm going. Ooh, I'll help you just back up over here. Oh! Jonathan, stop spanking my wife. Well, she needs her birthday spankings anyway. 17 more. Karen, you can take the blindfold off. Oh, okay. Stop it, Jonathan! 16 more! <gasps> Boyny, you set this up just for me? Uh, yeah, yeah, I sure did. I, I set all this up months ago. Cupcakes are stale as fuck. Boyny, all those mean jokes you were making were just to distract me from you setting up a surprise birthday party for me? Yep, that. All of the things you just said, all of that is right, yeah. Yeah, so we should light these candles. Ooh, Karen, I bet if you just touch the candles, they'll set on fire. Cause you're hot. Damn it, Jonathan, stop spanking her! I'm gonna go get the lighter. Okay, lit the candles. Let's sing a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Ow! Happy birthday to you. Ow! 
Happy birthday to Karen. Ow! Happy, Happy birthday to you. Aw, Jonathan, that was beautiful. Now give me a piece of cake. Jonathan! I wish Boynie would give me a big kiss. <gasps> That's really weird. You said Jonathan wrong. Come here, Boynie. Give me spooches. Oh, oh, you taste like beer, Boynie. I know. I love you too, Karen.
Eh, conocí a los sin nubes, donde el sol siempre brilla. Encuentro un paraíso lleno de maravillas. Los campos verdes, flores, en mil colores es el lugar de mis sueños lleno de amores. Es un paraíso brillante, donde el alma puede volar. Un mundo lleno de luz, donde puedo descansar. Cada día es una fiesta, cada noche un sueño. En este paraíso, todo es tan bello. Refusing to crumble Watch through the fuel 
Fire inside won't be stifled or smothered. Here I 